Example 16.7 C and D give us a new set of equations to work with. In part C, we have uh, h of x equals x minus 2 over x squared plus 3. And if we were to try to analyze the denominator, x squared plus 3, uh, we're going to end up getting uh, no restrictions out of this, at least no real restrictions out of this. So the domain for h is going to end up being all real numbers. And if the domain is all real numbers, then that means that there's no discontinuities. There's no possibility of having a vertical asymptote or a whole. So then I'll just state that. There would be no discontinuities. Moving on to D. And for D, we have x minus 5 divided by x squared minus 25. And I will factor the denominator first. That will help me to be able to recognize what my uh, domain restrictions are. My domain restrictions will be negative 5 and positive 5. So I'll go ahead and write that the domain of g will be negative infinity to negative 5, union negative 5 to positive 5, union 5 to infinity. So let's test out g of negative 5 as well as g of positive 5. So for negative 5, I'm going to use the original version of the equation for this. It's going to say negative 5 minus 5 all divided by negative 5 squared minus 25. And that's going to result in negative 10 divided by 0, which is undefined. And we've seen how undefined is going to result in a vertical asymptote located at uh, x equals negative 5. For g of 5, we'll plug in and we'll have 5 minus 5 over 5 squared minus 25. And that's going to end up giving us 0 over 0. And that's not undefined. That is considered indeterminate. So when you have a result that is indeterminate, such as what we have here, that means that we're going to have a whole. And the whole is going to be represented by an ordered pair. And the x value of that ordered pair is going to be 5. And we want to find the corresponding y value to go with that. But we ran into a problem with plugging in 5. We ended up getting 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. You cannot determine the value that goes with 5 unless we go back and simplify the equation. We factored the equation, um, at least we, we looked at factoring the denominator so that way we could figure out the domain restrictions. But we could also cancel out the x minus 5's since those are common factors and we could write the equation as 1 over x plus 5. In which case, if we do a reevaluate, if we try to do g of 5 again, we would have 1 over 5 plus 5, which is going to give you 1 over 10. So it is possible to calculate the y value, but it's not a y value to represent a point. It's the y value to help represent a whole, which is one of our types of discontinuity. So this particular function has two discontinuities. One is a vertical asymptote and the other is a hole.